We're joined now by Julianne Sue, the number one player in the number one team in Australia. How does that sound? <laughs> I mean, words can't describe it right now. It's, it's a pretty good feeling for all of us. But yeah, you know, we've all played really good golf this week. It's been an emotional day for the Victorian team, hasn't it? You've, uh, you've stood up against a lot of pressure and, and bonded really well as a team. Yeah, I know. Like we all, the girls all get along really well. So, I mean, you can't ask for much more, but a win is always good. <laughs> so let's walk through your match here today. You've played against the number one ranked uh, female amateur in Australia, Hannah Green, and you've taken her down for the second time in, in three days. <laughs> I mean, like it's always, I knew it was always going to be a tough match. You know, Hannah's such a good player. Um, she had some really great results over the summer. So I just knew I just had to, you know, keep doing what I'm doing and hope for the best. So we've all learned watching these matches over the last four days, Julian, that a half point here and a half point there is critical, isn't it? So can you take us back to Tuesday when you are a couple down to Hannah and what turned out to be a pivotal part of that match? Yeah, I think that was a really point, um, important part of the whole scheme of things, actually. I mean, I think we only won, uh, was on the top of the ladder by about half a point. And I mean, down the stretch, I, was, I knew I had to pull out something and just get something on the board. And, you know, a half was good for me, but it ended up being a win, which was even better. So walk us through the magic moment. Your putt actually sealed it. A birdie on the 17th to beat Hannah 2-1. and one, yep. And that actually sealed the match for Victoria. How did that feel? It was about a 20-footer. Take us through it. Um, yeah, it was about a 20-footer, a bit left to right down the hill. So, you know, it wasn't the easiest putt, but, I mean, all I really wanted to do was lag it down there, and I wasn't really expecting to hole it. But when, as soon as I hit the putt, I, I thought it would have a chance. And it rolled in just well. And your reaction? <laughs> I was a bit overwhelmed. I was like, oh, I can't believe that went in. So, I mean, I still can't believe I hold that. <laughs> so you had Mike Clayton on the bag this week. What's he been like for you? Yeah, he's been good. I mean, he he knows my game pretty well. Um, we know each other pretty well. So he, yeah, he just gives me a few tips here and there. But most of the time, we just have a good chat on course. Nice. Now, you've, your golf's really come on in leaps and bounds in the last few months since you finished your uh, Year 12 studies. Yeah. You've got an amazing opportunity coming up to, to visit with Kari Webb during the US Open through the Kari Webb Series Scholarship. How does that sit with you? I mean, it's, it's really good, obviously. I mean, I can't wait. It'll be a really good experience with Kari. And then I'm also going with Hannah, which is funnily enough. So I guess we'll both have a really good time there. Do you think it's the next couple of steps in maybe turning pro down the track? Um, I guess so. I mean, I, I haven't really thought about it down the track. It's always been um, like a, a really big dream of mine. But I mean, like with my summer this this year, I think I think I've really I don't know stepped it up a notch and maybe gotten that one step further. No doubt about that. Well, congratulations on a great week and congratulations to all the Victorian team, the uh, champions of Australia. Well done. <laughs> Thank you.